Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you four different ways that you can add audio to your video or images in Canva. I'm going to show you how you can add music, voiceovers, even a free AI voiceover or both together. So first of all, you're going to open up your Canva account. And if you don't already have one, you can sign up using my link in the description below. And everything we do in today's tutorial, you can do using a free Canva account. First, I'm going to show you how you can upload or add your own audio files. Let's say I've created this little video on Canva and I want to add some retro music to it. I'm going to click on uploads and then upload files. Then just click on the file you want to upload. You'll see it's uploading over here on the side. And then under uploads, it will automatically put it in the audio category. So to add the audio to your file, this is where some people have difficulty. You want to make sure you can see the timeline. And right now we can't click here at the bottom on duration. Now we can see this little timeline. Okay. So what we're going to do is click on the audio and drag it down to where it says drop music. You can adjust this later, but I'm just going to go like that. So now if we press play, you can see we have some audio. If you want to zoom up on this timeline here, you have to use this button here. So right now it's set at zoom page. So if I go like this, I'm just zooming my page in and out. But if I click on it, now it's zoom thumbnails and watch the timeline. Okay. So now we've adjusted the timeline. So I like to work with it so I can actually see what's going on. And then if you hover your, your mouse here, you see this gray bar. Um, and now I can have a bit more control and see the audio across the entire video. So from here, what we can do is click on the audio and let's say you want to move it. So it starts a bit, little bit later. You can just drag it. So you can have the audio start in the middle or at the beginning, or just position it wherever you want it to start. Now, what you can do is, click here on fade and you can just add a nice little fade in and fade out and that way it doesn't sound choppy. You can also click on the volume icon if you want to adjust the volume. So let's press play. And of course to download the video, just click share and then download and then download again. So the second method is we can add music and sound effects directly in Canva using Canva's audio library. So to do this, click on your little video. Once again, remember to click show page thumbnails because that's how we're going to get this little timeline here. And what you're going to do is click audio and here you can search for the type of audio you're looking for. Now, one thing important, click here on this little settings icon. And you're going to select free if you don't have a Canva Pro account. Now you can also select by the type of audio you're looking for, but I recommend leaving this unchecked because sometimes you have less options if someone hasn't labeled the audio properly. So I'm just going to search for peaceful or maybe instrumental or something like that. And then you have all of these different options to choose from. Now you can press play to preview these tracks. And one thing you can do to check before you add it to your video to make sure this is okay for you to use is if you click on the three dot icon beside the song, you can get more information. So for example, this song, it's free to use commercial use is allowed. So some tracks you can only use for personal use, but a lot of these you can for commercial as well. So that's just something to keep in mind. So once you've decided you like a song, just click on it, drag it down where it says drop music. And once again, you can play around with the track, adjusting it as you want, and you can adjust the volume. You can add a fade in or a fade out. Now let's say you had another video after this or another clip or another page. Let's say you're doing a slideshow or something. I'm going to right click duplicate page just as a demo. You can see here that now this song has extended. So it's going to go and cover your next video or image as well. So you don't have to worry about that. You can just keep adding to it. So 
So let's say you want to add a voiceover. Let's go back to our little Game Boy video. And let's say I want to add an AI generated voiceover for free directly within Canva. I want an AI voiceover that's going to say this right here. And so I'm going to click on the text that I want Canva's little tool to narrate for me. And I'm going to click here on Magic Write and then Generate AI Voice. So here, if you don't have a Canva Pro account, you can use Lisa or Ralph. And if you do have a Pro account, you can use Carol or Richard. So you can change the text that you want it to narrate and you can select the voice. We have many different voices to choose from. Let's check out Lisa's. Nintendo's Game Boy was the first handheld console to achieve worldwide success. Let's listen to Ralph. Nintendo's Game Boy was the first handheld console to achieve worldwide success. All right, good. You can also use a different accent. Let's go with Henry and his English accent. Nintendo's Game Boy was the first handheld console to achieve worldwide success. So to generate it, I'm just going to click Generate AI Voice. And you can see that that AI voice has now been added to the timeline right here. So let's say I want the voice to start more or less when the text appears. I'm just going to drag the voice over. Nintendo's Game Boy was the first hand. So once you do this, you'll also want to adjust the volume of the background music because it should be quieter now so you can very clearly hear the voiceover. So we'll click on the audio once again, click here on volume. We can just lower it a little bit. You can also change the volume of the narration too. So let's just see what that sounds like. Nintendo's Game Boy was the first handheld console to achieve worldwide success. And the last method I'm going to show you is how you can record a voiceover directly within Canva. So let's say I want to add a narration to this video as well as the music. I'm going to click on audio and then click record voiceover. Then Canva is going to ask for permission to use your microphone. So make sure to select the microphone you want to use. And then you can click allow while visiting this site or allow this time. And then at the bottom, you can change your microphone if you need to, or just press record. And then it will count down from three to one and the video will play. So you can narrate the video as the video is playing so that the voiceover is in sync. Once you're finished, click finish. And you can see that the voiceover has been automatically added to the timeline above the music track that we already added. Look up at the stars and not down at your feet. So there are a few different things you can do. I want the voiceover to start once the text appears. So what I'm going to do is shorten the voiceover. So to trim a clip, just drag your playhead over the beginning of the clip, click and drag to shorten it. And now just click and drag and you can reposition it so it starts where you want it to start. Now another thing you can do is let's say I want to split the voiceover into multiple sections because I want the second part of the voiceover to pop up a little bit later on the video clip. I can right click on the voiceover and select split audio. And now I'll be able to click and drag the second clip. So now we have the voiceover in two separate clips and you can just reposition it as you want. And of course, like we did before, you can adjust the volume and add a fade in or fade out so that the music doesn't overpower the voiceover. Look up at the stars and not down at your feet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to add audio to your video or images in Canva. If you have any other questions regarding this tutorial or anything else you'd like to learn to do within Canva, let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.